Hey friends, my name is Faison Arshad and this is Afan Farooq. We are part of the Foam ED community, free, open access medical education. As such, in the pre-hospital environment, there are numerous challenges, especially when considering out of hospital cardiac arrest. Very simply, we have to look at the data. We know that in the ROC PRIME trial, which is part of the Research Outcomes Consortium, which conducted a prospective multi-center study in the entire United States, only 29% of patients in out-of-hospital cardiac arrest received high-performance CPR. And that's not even considering the AHA's new guidelines in 2015. Those were by very liberal standards. So over the course of cardiac arrest evolution, we found that ACLS medications don't necessarily translate into intact neurologic hospital discharge. The thing that is tantamount to our patient survival is high quality pit crew CPR. So where do we begin? I recall when our service was contemplating upgrading our monitors to incorporate feedback devices. Because we do have so many ALS units, at that particular moment in time, it was cost prohibitive, but we were adamant that that should not jeopardize the quality of EMS care that our patients and citizens should receive. There are a multitude of free apps to optimize your chest compression rate using metronomes and things along those lines, but we wanted to design an app that was free that you could use in training situations and scenarios to optimize your own internal clock to deliver high-performance CPR. Now, we know that the chest compression rate should be somewhere between 100 to 120 beats per minute. That compression should be about 2.6 centimeters, and we really have to allow for adequate recoil. More so, in regards to cardiac arrest, we have to have a good pit crew system where providers are able to work together and swap out and really prioritize the components of ACLS care that are going to make the most profound difference. Thus, we designed the perfect CPR app, which is available on the Apple Watch Store, which uh, Afan is going to talk to us a little bit more about. It's certainly uh, designed to give us haptic feedback at a rate of 110 beats per minute. And you might ask, why 110? Under new research that's being done from the University of Minnesota, where they've uh, gone back and looked at all the prospective data that was done in the ROC Prime study, they've actually identified a sweet spot. And Dr. Yiannopoulos is a leader in this research realm. The sweet spot is the ideal chest compression rate to optimize your likelihood of your patient not only achieving ROSC, having sustained ROSC, and then ultimately making it out of the hospital with an intact neurologic discharge. So without further ado, for an introduction of the app, Afan Farooq. So as Dr. Ashad had mentioned, we basically came up with a plan on how we can provide a device that anybody who has an Apple Watch, for example, um, is able to use. And based on all of that, we developed the perfect CPR app, which is available on the Apple Store. It's completely free. And I'm going to give you a little brief overview of how you can access it once it's downloaded onto your watch. So the way we programmed it is you hit this button on the side and the app will show up right there. And then you can hit start. Once you hit start, you can see that at the top there's a timer running, which basically is indicative of how long it's been since you started compressions. And the number changing over here is consistent with a tap that I'm feeling on my arm. That indicates when you should be doing a compression, and we programmed it so that you give 110 compressions in 60 seconds to optimize care and recoil.